So down at the Seaford Footy Club today, it's Fight MND round and Pines are taking on Seaford. Here with Captain Bo Hendry. Bo, tell us about the day today and what it means to you personally and your family. I um, mean, yeah, look, the club's got around County. Obviously, he's, we've, we found out that he's had this terrible disease and it's obviously a big thing with Neil Danaher. So we're, County doesn't want a big thing about it. But as a, as a club, he was happy for us to wear the beanies and support it in his way. But, um, yeah, everyone's, everyone's got around the family. It's great. That's what... It's the best thing about footy clubs when something like this happens, everyone rallies together and even other teams, so it's really good. Yeah, and the Pines family is definitely one that's a strong one. I couldn't get myself a park. I had to park about a K away to walk here. It's, it's packed down here. Everyone's in the blue beanies. What does the Pines community really like as a family and get rallying around together? Yeah, obviously Pines gets a bad rap, but once, once you're in with the Pines, you, that's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. Like, it's a big family. It, it's... Most people are either with Pines or against Pines, so once you're in with us, we, we love everyone who's a part of us, and um, if people don't like us, we're not too, not too worried. I forgot about that. And Cowdy, as a, as a role model to you, has he really been a figure, influential person in your life? Yeah, well, of course he has. Like he's, he's a big goal kicker. He's probably more, a, more influential for Guy, because I just heard after he's interviewed him that he's picked Guy's number one nephew, so <laughs> he can um, go get stuffed about that. <laughs> but no, nah, he's a ripper. He'll always talk footy with us. He loves his footy, and he's always down here watching us every game. Um, it's great to have him here. Yeah, we love him. Yeah, very nice. And your season so far, you're sitting quite comfortably, but a couple of results that you could have had a bit better. Um, last time you came up against Seaford, you didn't get the win. What do you think has to change today? Um, yeah, we're obviously missing a couple of big key forwards, but we went down by five points. Um, we're in a lot better position this, this time around, and I think it's pretty windy out there, so hopefully that doesn't have too much input. But the way we moved the ball last game against Bond Beach was terrific. Like, we were just doing all, all the team things, just the little things that got us, got us over the line. Our tackle pressure's been magnificent since we played Sereno. Um, we've really, we've really lifted our game at training. Everything's been going well. The, the numbers have been great. Everyone's just, everyone's pumped. The 19s are going well. The twos are struggling a little bit, but they've got a few players back today, so hopefully they, they can come through with the goods. So yep. going all right. Very good. And it's and it's definitely that forward line. You've now you've got Aaron Edwards firing and stuff like that, um, taking after Cowdy a bit with his um, forward kicking goals. Like Pines legend getting heaps of goals on the board. Is yeah. that something you've got a kicker hit, a kicker winning score to get yourself over the line? Is forwards being back going to help you? Yeah, obviously having big as their back because he didn't play around one and Bongo didn't play around one. So two big key forwards. They should hopefully kick a big bag each today which would be great. Um, even Guy might sneak in there for a couple, you never know, but I certainly won't. <laughs> but, yeah, it'd be good. Very nice. All right, thanks for having a chat with us. Is there anything else you'd like to add at all? Or? Oh, mate, just a big message out to Big Caddy. We love you, mate. Stay strong, and we're always here for you.